Hi guys, how are you? I hope you are all doing well. Um, for this week, our reading activity, um, we're just going to do a breaking news article, which is something that we do in our classroom. And remember, our breaking news articles are always um, a little bit shorter, but they are things that are currently going on in the news or um, things that are going on in sports or maybe an entertainment article. Um, this week, I am going to do this entertainment article about National Donut Week. Again, this is the section of the newspaper where it's more fun type of media and fun type of news. It could be about a celebrity, a music, movies, a holiday, or a, a celebration of some sort. So I'm going to read with you guys the article. We're going to use the one-page article that I have right here. There are uh, there is a shorter um, question and answer page that you can do, but um, we will first read the article together. National Donut Week. Now, who here doesn't like a donut usually? The Krispy Kreme Donut Company announced that they are celebrating National Donut Week in 2020. National Donut Week is June 1st through the 5th. Usually, Krispy Kreme only celebrates National Donut Day. This year, they decided to celebrate for five days. So instead of just doing one day, they're going to do five for this whole week. People can go to Krispy Kreme stores and choose any donut they want. Each person can choose one donut each day. People do not have to buy anything to receive a free donut. What is your favorite kind of donut? Um, so I am going to post along with this video your questions page, which we're going to read together. I'm going to post a survey asking what your favorite kind of donut is. And then I'm going to post another survey about some wacky flavored donuts that I found and I'm going to get your opinion on them. So there's going to be a few activities that you can do that go along with it. They might be um, linked using a Google form that you should be able to do right on your computer. So first let's look at our questions together. I'm going to post your question pages on the Google Classroom so you can do them ind individually but let's just read the questions together. Um, I'm not going to give you the answers, so you can do them later on the computer, either with me during one of your sessions or um, with someone at home, okay? So question one, when is National Donut Week? Are we celebrating it in December, in August, or in June? And if you're using this video and following along and doing your worksheet, you can pause it so, uh, so you can answer. But I'm going to go on to question two. What is Krispy Kreme? Is it A, a record company, B, a power company, or C, a donut company? And again, if you're doing your worksheet now, just give us a pause so you have time to answer. And the last question, I told you it was shorter than the other worksheet, uh, other articles we do. Question three, what is Krispy Kreme giving away? Are they giving away A, donuts, B, bagels, or C, muffins? All of those sound great, but Krispy Kreme is giving away one of these three for this week. So again, our article for this week is pretty short. Um, I'm also going to put a video about how donuts are made. So as soon as I'm done talking, we're going to watch a video on how donuts are made. I'm going to have this worksheet posted in the classroom with your initials. You can type your answers in on the computer. And then I'm going to have some surveys, some opinion surveys about donuts, what you like and which wacky ones you would try. I thought it would just be fun for us. Um, I also might post a writing piece for you guys to do. So um, I hope you enjoyed the article. If you have time this week and you're able to go to a Krispy Kreme, please try. I don't know where the closest one is, so we're going to go to their website. Um, I know 
a more popular donut place around here is Dunkin' Donuts. But um, let's see where, and I'm putting Albany because that's where our school is. But let's see, the, the closest ones it looks like are downstate, Pennsylvania, where my sisters live, or Connecticut. Well, what's up with that? There's not a Krispy Kreme closer. So unfortunately for us, unless your parents are willing to take you on a long road trip, it does not look like there is a Krispy Kreme store anywhere near us. But maybe one day we will get some. But let's just quickly, we can go on their website and look at some of their fun flavored donuts because Krispy Kreme is known for their donuts. So they have their original cream filled donuts. They have a uh, original filled and a original filled chocolate cream. They have glazed donuts, chocolate glazed donuts, sprinkles. They have an Oreo cookies and cream donut. They have a chocolate iced with cream filling. They have cake batter. These all sound really yummy. They have a chocolate iced custard filled donut. They have a gla glazed raspberry filled donut. They have a glazed lemon filled donut. So these donuts, the filled ones, have a jelly, a flavored jelly or, or cream in it. They have a strawberry iced donut with sprinkles on it. They have an apple fritter. Oh, they have so many. Chocolate iced cake. Um, they have a cake flavored donuts, a chocolate cake and a blueberry cake. They have a cinnamon bun one. I'm just skipping around a little. Um, they have a sour cream donut. They have a more plain traditional donut. They have so many guys. If you want to take a look, they have a cheesecake donut. What in the what? And they have more flavored filled donuts. And then they have their little donut holes. Um, there's so many. I'm not going to go over all of them with you. But if you guys get an opportunity this week and you want to go on the Krispy Kreme website and look at all the flavored donuts that they have, you can always type in the comments which Krispy Kreme donut you think you'd want to try. Okay? Um, for me, I think I'd want to try the glazed raspberry because I love raspberries and I started really liking jelly donuts recently because I'm not a donut person but when I do get them I've always I've now been more partial to raspberry but when I do get a donut I would take any flavor I think they all look pretty delicious so um again uh happy donut week um maybe I'll look up later and I'll add it into our classroom. I'll tell you if Dunkin' Donuts is doing any specials because we know there's Dunkin' Donuts around us. But um, I'm going to put on a video of how donuts are made. So I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to ch uh, check out your worksheet that's in the classroom and some of the form opinion form pages. So um, I will see you guys later. Bye. Bye. I'm back. I'm just going to put the movie on for us. So pardon me. Donuts used to be called oily cakes because they were deep fried in pork fat. When Dutch pilgrims first brought them to America, they were ball shaped. But then someone found that removing a nut of dough from the center helped them cook far more evenly. And so the donut was born. In the world of donuts, there are two basic types, yeast donuts and cake donuts. The batter for cake donuts drops from the mixer right into boiling vegetable oil. The nozzles shape the dough as it passes. The donuts fry for about a minute and a half. Then a conveyor carries them out of the vat to cool. Yeast donuts require more time to make. A high-speed mixer works the yeast dough, then workers pull it off the machine into bins. From there, it goes into a hopper that extrudes the dough as a sheet. Then it's onto another conveyor belt where a series of rollers flatten the dough sheet to just three quarters of an inch thick.
The sheet passes under a shower of cinnamon, then hits a rotating cylinder that rolls it into a log. A small metal rod sprinkles the dough with water. This keeps it sticky enough to hold its shape while going under another flattening roller. A dusting of cornstarch keeps the dough from sticking to the blade that now cuts it into pieces. A retractable arm drops the blocks of dough, four at a time, onto wire mesh trays. Then it's off to the proofer, a machine much like a large bread box in which heat and humidity help the yeast dough rise. This leavening process takes about 20 minutes, during which time the trays, over 300 of them, go up and down and then out to the fryer. A gate slows the donuts down just before the drop so they slide in without splashing hot oil. Gas burners keep the oil at a constant boil. Anything less and the donuts would come out partly raw. Halfway through, they get a flip so they'll cook evenly throughout. After two minutes, the donuts leave the fryer and move through a curtain of sweet glaze. A strong air current blows off the excess. And these fry cakes are ready to eat. They gradually cool as they spiral through the production area on their way to packaging. Now let's see how they make donuts with filling. A machine separates the yeast dough into little blobs, then sends them rolling down plastic tunnels. This shapes them first into pucks, then into round dough balls. Rollers then flatten the balls before they enter the proofer to rise. There's cornstarch everywhere to prevent the dough from sticking to the machinery or to the conveyor belt. Row after row of donuts fry in hot oil, then slide into a large drum that tumbles them around, covering them with a sugary coating. Now it's time for the donuts to get filled. These nozzles inject just the right amount of jelly. Each worker fills 45 donuts a minute. After filling, these donuts known as Bismarck's are ready to go on to packaging. They're just one of the many delicious varieties that this factory turns out on a daily basis. guys um so i hope you guys enjoyed that little that little bit of how a donut is made i thought it was kind of interesting that they used to fry them in pork fat fat i don't know if i would eat the donut fried in pork fat but again donuts have there's so many different ways that they make donuts but that was just one simple way again i'm going to post some more activities for you to do in the google classroom but i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you can go and celebrate national donut week by having a donut Bye, guys.